Welcome and how are you? I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. Now there's a new stock to flow forecast put out by Plan B and this new forecast puts the average Bitcoin price at $288,000 per Bitcoin by 2024. Let's get into it. In this video, we're going to talk about three different subjects. The first subject we'll cover is Bitcoin miners to thrive post having after local Chinese government surprising move. We're going to look at rich dad, poor dad, Robert Kiyosaki. He says that the coronavirus will send Bitcoin parabolic. And then finally, new stock to flow forecast puts average Bitcoin price at 288,000 by 2024. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas that will help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really helps us out. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. So always use caution when investing in cryptocurrency and definitely read the rest of this uh, disclaimer. Uh, using caution will help you significantly. So Bitcoin is right now trading at $7,735. So just so that you know, right now is 6.31 a.m. Central Standard Time on April 28th, 2020. And currently, Bitcoin has a dominance of 63.9%. So it's been hovering for a while at about 64%. Bitcoin makes up 64% of the entire cryptocurrency market based on its total capitalization. Now, Bitcoin miners to thrive post having after local Chinese government surprising move. Yan, a Chinese city that contributes 50% of the total hash power to the Bitcoin network, offers cheap electricity to miners right ahead of the halvening. The mountainous region, while awaiting a raining season, wants to give away its excess electricity to support the implementation of the blockchain industry development, according to public guidance document. The move could prompt miners to continue operations despite low rewards after the halvening. Yan, a city in China's Sichuan province, wants Bitcoin miners assistance in burning its supply surplus energy. It could result in cheaper electricity for miners, which would reduce costs and expenses. And so here's some of the official documents. Um, some of it's in English, some of it's in Chinese. But basically, uh, this is a city that's up in the mountains and they have uh, dams with water running through them that's generating electricity. And they're basically going to, they're offering miners, cryptocurrency miners, the excess electricity because they're generating more electricity than can actually get used. And they're offering the extra electricity at a lower, cheaper rate for Bitcoin miners. And so this could help out a lot of miners. In the view of the current market performance, what we must do is optimize the electricity cost. As the lower the electricity cost is, the less the miners will be affected, Mr. Xing stated. 14 BTC and 30, whoops, that's an ad. Sorry about that. Uh, the Yan's announcement promises to do the same, reduce the energy tariffs that account for more than 90% of the overall mining operation costs. So 90% of a Bitcoin miner's overall cost is electricity. The move could lead Chinese miners to continue their rigs despite continue running their rigs despite lower Bitcoin prices, thereby running the operations without facing mine, monetary losses. So this could be a good thing for a lot of Bitcoin miners. Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki says that the coronavirus will send Bitcoin parabolic. Continuing public support for Bitcoin, Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki says that Bitcoin, gold, and silver will win big after the pandemic is over. 
Bitcoin ultimately stands to go parabolic after the coronavirus ends, the author of the world's best-selling personal finance book says. In a tweet on April 15th, Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, argued that the coronavirus pandemic was great for Bitcoin. So Robert's come out with a number of, Mr. Kiyosaki has come out with a number of different comments regarding Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Um, One of them recently was about how because of the amount of money that the Fed is printing in terms of dollars, he thought that you would be foolish to, to save money using dollars and that you are much, much better off if you put all your savings into cryptocurrency. And so I thought that was a very interesting statement. Now, he also mentioned gold and silver in this one and in the previous one, but he went on to talk about in more detail in the previous article um, how gold and silver are just more difficult to transition from cash to gold or silver and then back to cash and how Bitcoin is much easier to do the very same transition. So the largest cryptocurrency which has broadly stabilized since crashing to 3700 in mid-March is now one of the best investments available, according to Robert Kiyosaki. U.S. government printing of $10 trillion in fake U.S. dollars to save the U.S. Fed, uh, to save shadow banks, Kiyosaki summarized. He added, dollar in the bull market for now when bear market begins, gold, silver, Bitcoin, parabolic, best investment today. Do not miss out. So obviously Robert Kiyosaki feels pretty strongly about this. The solution, Bitcoin beats precious metals credentials. The solution is Bitcoin, which Kiyosaki recently highlighted a way to opt out of the fiat model. The reason I endorse Bitcoin is just one freaking reason. You're not part of the system, Cointelegraph quoted him as saying. Bitcoin is the hardest form of money as it is the first form of money that humanity cannot manipulate to produce more quickly. Unlike gold, production of which is limited only by human time. It also has absolute scarcity. And so I, I tend to agree with some of what Robert uh, is talking about here. I definitely think Bitcoin is one of the best investments available today. Um, Again, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I personally have recommended to Bitcoin to all of my friends and family, um, and I think they should invest in it. And if you're looking for a good place to invest and get a decent return, get a, a what what could potentially be a phenomenal return, I think Bitcoin's a great place to put it. In fact, so does the author of Plan B. Uh, who put out a stock-to-flow ratio, and he believes that Bitcoin's price by 2024 will be $288,000 per Bitcoin. Introducing his latest revamp of the popular price model, Analyst Plan B adds gold and silver and almost triples his previous forecast. The latest version of a popular and thus far accurate Bitcoin price model predicts an average price of $288,000 and it could happen this year. In a blog post introducing the third incarnation of the stock to flow model on April 27th, analyst Plan B revealed fresh calculations that are taking his forecast ever higher. So this time gold and silver was added into his model, into his forecasting, combining that with Bitcoin to create the new BTC uh, cross asset model, or he's calling it S2FX. Stock to flow calculates value based on the supply of new Bitcoins entering circulation through mining versus the existing supply or stock. The retroactive application confirms that the model is extremely competent at charting Bitcoin's growth, with even last month's 60% price drop still falling within its predicted range. Prior to S2FX, an updated stock-to-flow chart put Bitcoin USD at an average of around $100,000 between 2020 and 2024 
With the release of the new version, however, the prediction has almost tripled overnight. The S2FX model formula can be used to estimate the market value of the next Bitcoin phase cluster. BTC S2F will be 56 in 20 to 2024. Plan B summarized. That translates into a Bitcoin price of $288,000. And so here's a little chart that goes into more detail of it. Unconvinced, uh, an unconvinced whale, add Bitcoin SV. So there's a, a particular guy out there who thinks that Plan B needs to add cryptocurrencies or at least Bitcoin SV into uh, this particular stock to flow model. I'm not sure that's a good thing to do. I would, I would have to dig a little bit deeper into understanding the math behind the stock to flow model. And I would definitely want to hear uh, Plan B's opinion of that. So ultimately under the S2FX and S2F value of 56 Bitcoin's market value should balloon to 5.5 trillion, which means a price of 288,000 per Bitcoin. The update was not without its detractors, having previously criticized earlier work. The high volume Bitcoin trader known as Joe007 took a fresh swipe at the stock to flow, arguing that Plan B should include more assets such as controversial altcoin Bitcoin SV. I think Plan B made a step in the right direction by including more assets in his model. Solid work, he tweeted on Tuesday. As soon as S2FX is confirmed for a wider range of assets like PTW, BSV, BCC, it will have my enthusiastic support. Highly scientific. So it's interesting that Joe007 on one hand is uh, praising the stock to flow model and on the other hand he thinks he needs to tweak it more by adding more assets into its calculations. And so I would be curious to find out how adding those other assets affect the calculation, but I'm not sure that those would carry more weight than things like the price of gold and silver. Anyway, time will tell and it'll be interesting if Plan B offers those models and the calculations from them. In further comments, Joe007 claimed that Bitcoin's up upcoming halving is already priced in to BTCUSD and that next month's event will precede a price crash. So this guy is not really bullish. He's more on the bearish side of, of things. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin, meanwhile, is also among those with reservations about stock to flow. So here's my opinion of the stock to flow model and will we actually hit 288,000? I would love to see Bitcoin hit 288,000, but I know that the stock to flow model has been accurate in the past. I'm just not See the stock to flow model is is really it's based off of a lot of math. And math doesn't take into consideration uh, uh, events like the COVID-19 or uh, things that China or uh, India can do that would uh, ultimately affect the price of Bitcoin. Now, there's been a huge amount of good news, bullish news coming worldwide, globally about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. You know, with the India Supreme Court uh, uh altering the regulators uh, laws that prevented Bitcoin from flourishing in India has opened up the Indian market. You know, that's going to bring 1.3 billion people into using cryptocurrency. That's huge. That's huge. With 1.3 billion people having easier access to purchase, to buy, to sell cryptocurrency, that's pretty significant. Um, but on the end with China going out and creating its own digital yuan, its own cryptocurrency, that's also huge. And then when you hear about how China's Twitter is blowing up with searches that the number six search on China's Twitter 
is Bitcoin having? That's also huge. And so there's a, a huge amount of interest globally in the Bitcoin happening. And so I think all of that leads value, leads, uh, I want to say confirmation, but it, it really is confirmation of a different sort. The, the stock to flow model is based off of math. And the things I just listed are based off of real world activity. And so the two are kind of in two different realms. But when the two are, are agreeing with each other, I think they both lend more validity to each other. And so the more we see bullish good news on a global basis, the more I think that this has a greater and greater potential of actually happening. Um, again, time will tell. Um, and so I'm hope while I'm hopeful that this will happen, I'm not 100% that it will happen. So definitely would love to see that. Now, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have anything you want to talk about in more in depth? Uh, is there something that you disagree with me about? I would love to hear your polite disagreements in the comments below. Look, you know things I don't know. I know things that you don't know. And when we share what we know together, we're going to grow smarter together. I want to grow smarter with you. So feel free to share your disagreements in a polite way in the comment section below. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. And I hope that you have a fantastic day.